You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. CBC Online, talk with Terry Mickler and coach. I guess uh, a lot of the coaches say this is kind of a proud day for you guys as you see some of your guys sign uh, you know, letters to play in college. You know, Talk about the group that you had signed this year. Oh, you're right, because uh, even though it ins- indicates kind of the end of an era of, of their career here, it also signi- uh, uh, signifies the startup of another era. So, so you know, in, in life, there, there's always challenges. So in sports, definitely, there's challenges. So, you know, they, they met challenges here. Now they get to step up to the next level and meet another set of challenges. Uh, you know, the nice thing about, about the group that signed off today is that they're all good kids that, that uh, achieved a lot this year. And, and, I, and I don't think there's a substitute for... Uh, re- achieving, you know, I mean, you can talk about it all you want, but until you really experience it, uh, you know, when you, once you experience it, you've got something to fall back on. You know, you go back to those those uh, memories of what it took to, to do it, and that gets you through the next hurdle. Uh, you know, let's talk about the first of all, uh, Giovanni Dokai, a player of the year for the Post Dispatch uh, for the boys' soccer in St. Louis, signs with Quincy. He's bringing the, your goalie, Nate Griffin. So talk about those two. They certainly had a huge impact in your run to the state. But uh, talk about them and how they'll fit into that uh, system at Quincy. Yeah, it's uh, Quincy's kind of gotten back into the uh, St. Louis market, so to speak. I mean, they were in it big time for a long time, kind of drifted out a little bit and gotten back into it lately. And uh, We've got two, I think we had three players on the current Quincy roster this year, uh, Jake Bond and Drew Duncan and, and uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin uh, Vanager, Kevin Vanager. And Kevin would have been a senior, maybe even a fifth-year senior, I'm not sure. Um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of established. Quincy uh, had a long-standing coach in Jack McKenzie. He was there as long as I was here, I think, 40-some years. Um, and they turned it over to a younger guy. Uh, so I think it's a good fit. Nate was going to go up there. Nate committed early uh, before Giovanni, and I think with Nate being there, it made it easy for Giovanni to, to go along. Uh, and Quincy, I, I know a little bit about it. Now, they've got some big-time plans to uh, improve their soccer program, their soccer facility. Uh, they've got a great tradition, a successful tradition in the past, and, and they're back on the verge of being uh, successful again. Uh, so it's good for them. I think it's uh, it's a good fit. And then you got uh, your your top scorer, L.J. at Awadme, is heading to Rockhurst. So certainly you know a lot about Rockhurst. You played there. You know how does his game fit into what they're trying to do up at Rockhurst? Well, and that's another interesting one because for the longest time we had you know a few guys go to, go to Rockhurst a little bit on their own, off and on. But in the more recent years, current years, there's been more active recruiting of our kids from Rock to, through Rockhurst. Um, and, and I think it's always key. I always tell the kids, you know, you've got to go where it's going to be best for you. And, and one of the signs of where it's going to be best for you is the interaction that you have with the college coach. You know, if the college coach really seems to take an interest in you and, and, and does a little bit above and beyond the norm with you, you know, continues communication, doesn't leave you hanging, you don't always have to initiate the next move, then that tells you that he's interested in you, you know. And in talking to the Rockers coach, I know he's genuine. Was genuinely interested in, in LJ, and he got to see us play a few times. And who doesn't like a guy that's got a little explosive speed, a little uh, ch- uh, difference of about the way they play, and can score goals at the end of the play? Everybody wants that, you know. And LJ proved this year. Uh, in the biggest of the games, that he could do that. So good for him. And you got Joe Corbett, stayed here local with UMSL. Again, UMSL's another one of those programs that has had a great tradition, and now they're trying to get back in the game a little bit. Talk about UMSL and yeah. uh, how Joe will fit in out there. Uh, you know, I think is going to be a great fit for Joe because uh, the coach there, Danny King, is a, is a good soccer guy. He played at Indiana, a local guy. Um, but he's a great person. He's, he's a fun guy, easy to, easy to get along with. And I think Joe's going to fit in real well with, with, with uh, Danny King at UMSL. And Umsel's program, he started, Danny's been there a few years now, uh, and, he, and he's been b- building it gradually and slowly, piece by piece. And I think Joe's another important piece for Umsel. Uh, Umsel, Quincy, Rockhurst, you know, they're all in the same uh, division. They all play each other. So, you know, they're all looking to get that next player that can make a difference for him. So I think it's a great fit for Joe. Uh, you know, he gets to stay around here. His family can see him. Uh, I think he's going to do real well with uh, with Coach King 
I think it's going to be a good relationship for him, and I think it's going to be uh, going to work out well. And finally, uh, you know, the way they did the signing ceremony today, they had the baseball players, lacrosse players, a track guy, a golf guy, your soccer guys, and the football guys. Kind of power in numbers, 27 in all. I guess in in all your years here at CBC, uh, probably never seen anything like that. 27 kids signing uh, on the dotted line. Pretty you know, pretty proud moment. Usually, maybe you get two tables, you know, of kids. That was a lot. You know, this year we had tables in the shape of a U. <laughs> 27 kids so good for good for the kids good for the school uh watch out next year might be more than 27 who knows so but you know it's a recognition of of a lot of things Uh, you know every every sport here prides itself in in what it does and what it tries to do and how it goes about doing it and i think they have kids signed from your program like that is a testament that you know you're doing something right so a lot of the sports are represented today so that's a credit to all the coaches and all the players in, in the programs the athletic program overall and the school in the big picture. Again, that's CBC soccer coach Terry Mickler. Coach, we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks. CBC, men for tomorrow, brothers for life.